because I know you're not basic. So why should your trip be basic? So let's get into it. Come on. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of them who don't know, I am Stephanie, AKA Lady May. I do lifestyle, travel, fashion, and beauty content. So if you're interested in any of those areas, make sure that you stick around and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys five major tips on how to make your next trip luxury five okay now i know that everybody is into like traveling and seeing the world right now and definitely you want to make sure that your travel is on the next level you want to make sure that it's not basic because i know you're not basic so why should your trip be basic so let's get into it come on so we already know that getting there is half the fun and what better way to do that than flying first class luxury style baby so i had never flown first class until a couple of years ago and guys it's a definitely a game changer don't get me wrong i live in atlanta so like if i'm flying anywhere like on the east coast like miami new york you know i don't mind just flying like a basic flight or anything like that but when i'm doing like a trip trip and i'm trying to do something nice for myself i think i don't think there's anything wrong with treating yourself to a first class ticket literally everyone should experience first class at least once in their life they cater to you like your freaking royalty <laughs> at least when i'm in there they do when you first step on that plane they're asking you do you want this do you want that you know you're getting drinks you also get like a meal depending on like how long the flight is and i just feel like the service is literally top tier top notch service I definitely noticed like from going from first class then going back to flying like coach it's a total different experience like I remember one time I tried to like ask for like headphones and you know I couldn't get them until like halfway through the trip but compared to being in first class literally they wait on your beck and call which I feel like that's like the perfect way to start a trip off another thing that um, I want to talk about when it comes to transportation is making sure that you book some type of private transportation to pick you up now I know most people are just like oh I can just get like an uber when I get you know when I get off the plane or I can just you know get a taxi but what better way than to ease your mind when you get off the plane you already know that hey I have a car service down here and you get down there after being on a flight for however many hours and there's a sign with your name on it they help you with your bags they help you win the car and another great thing about when you do private transportation it's kind of like they're like your first little tour guide coming into the country because a lot of them know a lot of the history of the country and a lot of them can tell you things that you can do while you're in the country or tell you things that you should stay away from when you're there as well um i've definitely had great experiences with private transportation i would definitely add it on as a bonus i know sometimes hotels do offer um like shuttles and things like that which is cool but definitely if you're trying to take your trip to that next level that next tier adding a couple of more bucks to do private transportation is the way to go the next tip that i wanted to talk about is the hotel stay so you want to make sure that you try to find something luxury within whatever vibe you're looking for i know that a lot of people like to do airbnbs and it's nothing wrong with airbnbs but i feel like when i'm trying to do more of like a luxury trip i usually like people waiting on me and i usually like to have like room service or kind of like where i can go and eat whenever i want and obviously with the airbnb you can't really do that unless you have like a private chef at home of course um, but I like the whole hotel luxury experience and I definitely would encourage doing an all-inclusive experience. I feel like with all-inclusive, you get more bang for your buck. And you also want to make sure when you do an all-inclusive that you know you, re you read reviews. You want to make sure you read reviews regardless when you're booking anything, Airbnbs, hotels, or whatever. Um, I know for me, um, I always... I'm a stickler at looking at like trip advisory and looking at firsthand experience that people stay in there um, because there are certain things that I'm just like, no, I'm not dealing with that when I'm in a hotel or anything like that. You know, I make sure that the hotel is clean. I make sure the staff is friendly. I make sure the food is good. Um, food is a really big one for me when I'm traveling. So I would definitely say like when you're looking at resorts or all-inclusive resorts, you wanna make sure you look at the reviews on those things. I remember the first all-inclusive resort that I stayed in, the food was not so great. 
but then it was the amount of money we paid for it as well compared to this time around we paid top notch and the food was amazing so what you pay for is what you get in the end also another thing i want to talk about when it comes to hotel stay is you know making sure that whatever amenities that you want you make sure you look into those as well so like for us we wanted a suite and we wanted a suite that had more space and also we got like a private pool and also a private jacuzzi because a lot of times you know at night times there's like a cutoff when it comes to like pools and you know it's kind of cool to just have like a pool already attached to your room and you don't have to think about that and also if you wanted to just take like a quick dip in the morning and you don't want to be around other people i mean we already know COVID's out there so you know it's nice to just kind of have like your own you know while you're there and also just have some privacy as well um when you're in the pool or whatever another tip that i wanted to give is making sure to make time for relaxation and i think the best way to do that is to add on a spa day a full spa day guys literally this will take your trip to the top tier level of like luxury vibe. So in Jamaica, we ended up doing a full spa day and guys, it was absolutely amazing. Like I said, I love being catered to, I love being pampered and I love being in a relaxed mode. And I think it's always important like throughout your trip that you, you do at least one day where you just relax. And usually ideally for me, I like to do that on the last day. But if, if I can't get it in on the last day, I like to just fit it in somewhere on the trip. Um, I, I think a lot of times on trips, you're like on the hustle and bustle of like ready to do everything. And like, I'm going out, I'm doing this, I'm doing excursions. But I think it's always nice to have that time for yourself and that time to unwind and relax. Because most of us do go on trips because, you know, we're trying to like, escape from work and you need to make time for that relaxation as well because nobody wants to come back from a trip and tired you know so it's nice to just have like some relaxation in there as well and i think having that spa experience is like top tier like we did the hydrotherapy experience and even if you don't do anything like that you can also just do a massage or you can do body wraps you can do body scrubs i had never done a body scrub or a body wrap and i would highly recommend doing it on top of doing a massage it was just like the epitome of relaxation i literally went right to sleep after the spa day it was literally half the day it's just literally in a relaxation experience like no other so the next tip that i want to give you guys is elevating your dining experience so i am a huge foodie i am a huge foodie and i like trying different things especially if i'm in different countries and i know people do fine dining and things like that but i feel like you know for me when i'm trying to do like more luxury vibes i definitely try to do more of like a fancier dinner where there's different courses that come out or even if you want to take it to that next next level you could do even like private dining which in my last year was the first time i ever did that it was an amazing experience just having like your personal chef just you and your friends or whoever you're there with just you guys and just having a nice time and having a nice dinner together and someone catering to you and cooking for you for the night i know you guys are probably thinking god she loves people catering to her but who knows it like <laughs> that's what luxury is all about you want to be catered to you want to be pampered you want to be taken care of you know and what better way to do that than on a trip right i mean in our regular lives you know we're working hustling and bustling so it's nice to have that time to just have somebody take care of you have somebody take care of you for a change so i definitely say if you're looking to like take your trips to the next level make it more luxury reserve like a fancy dinner at like a nice restaurant or reserve a private chef for a dining experience Monday. and the last tip that i have is pick a fun exciting excursion to do and not just, and maybe not just pick one pick a whole bunch of them i know that i love 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 adventure i am the queen of picking something fun and daredevilish and to be honest it doesn't even have to be like a daredevilish type of vibe it could be hey you know what i always kind of wanted to ride a horse so like maybe they have like horseback riding or you know what i always wanted to go to the rainforest and i'm in costa rica and i'm gonna go to the rainforest like just do something make an experience that 
will last a lifetime. I've done so many wonderful experiences that are that's just like amazing. And I can't even believe certain things that I've done, to be honest. I was looking back um, on some of my past trips and I was just like, I can't believe like that I did this, 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 this. I'm more of a person who loves to cherish moments and memories compared to things in life. Like it's nothing wrong with treating yourself to nice things as well, like a bag or, you know, nice shoes or anything like that. But I feel like the best things come from like those memories you create when you travel and when you're doing things with the people that you love. So those things are like priceless, even though they do have a price tag on them. <laughs> it is priceless at the end of the day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys got a couple of tips from this video on how to make your next trip luxury fun and take it to the next level. If you haven't done so already, please make sure that you like this video and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And also check out some of my older content on my channel as well. And like always guys, it has been a pleasure and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh,